Hello boys and girls and welcome to the channel. I hope you all are having a great day. I am Ari and this is the album of the week. Uh, this ain't actually an album review, it's just me talking about the albums that I like to listen. And this time it is an old school heavy metal classic, Dio, Last in Line. And that is the second album of the band Dio and it was released back in 1982. And it is written and produced by the man himself, Ronnie James Dio. And the players on it are Ronnie James Dio, of course, on vocals and keyboards, Winnie Abyss on drums, Vivian Campo on guitar, Jimmy Bain on bass, and Klaus Snell on keyboards too. And the running time of it is about 40 minutes, 41 minutes. The songs are uh, 4 minutes long each. Oh, oh, there's one over 6 minutes each if it's the same one. And the songs that really stands out for me, of course, is the opening track, We Rock. This has a killer guitar riff and the lyrics and the vocals are amazing. It starts in your head, really heavy metal anthem. And of course the Jimmy Bass, Jimmy Bain's bass line is actually quite tough <laughs> to play. That's right. I'm not a big bass player but awesome bass line and then of course the drumming of course is outstanding this is the time when you didn't have pro tools you actually have to know how to play it and of course Vivian Campbell solos are amazing and his guitar work also it kind of sucks in the what's that You know the thing that has to put some sugar on me. Ah, definitely, but but the things we do earn money. And the second song is, of course, the last in line title song, and it has a very cool intro. It starts like this mellow guitar thing and vocals. Then the band comes crashing in in full force and distorts the guitars. Just fucking awesome. Just listen to it. This is a really old school heavy metal anthem, what can I say? And then, of course, there is. I speed at night, that I think it's the fastest song, even faster than the We Rock. Uh, it almost goes into speed metal mode. Uh, the guitar work is again amazing. It's fun to play, stuff like that. And Geo, the vocals of course, again, just sweet to listen to. They don't do shit like this anymore. Yeah. Geo was a metal guy, one of them. For in my book, he is the best metal singer that there has ever been. But hey, go listen to the album, leave your comments below, and tell me what you think about the album yourself. And that's it. about it. So. Stay tuned. Goodbye.